for more videos press the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification to receive the updates directly in your device hello friends i vikas nehra welcome you all to our nehra classes youtube channel in today's tutorial we will learn how to allow or deny access from selected ip addresses or networks in linux actually in linux we have the flexibility to allow or deny the access from selected ip addresses or networks in my previous video i have shown you how can you allow or deny the access for a particular user or for a group of users in this video i will show you how can you do it for a particular ip address or a particular network we can easily do that in rhl7 with the help of tcp wrapper service but we can also do it in rhl8 as well where the tcp wrapper is not supported so there we will use some different concept so in this video i will first show you how can you do it on rhl7 and later on i will show you how can you do it on rhl8 for different services so without wasting time let's get started so i have this machine that is running on rhl7 i'm going to allow or deny the access from a particular ip address or network for ssh so there let me first check the ip address of this machine the ip address of this machine is 192.168.1.116 and the ip address of my windows machine is 192.168.1.114 so i will do it for ssh service so with the help of tcp wrappers we can easily do that for tcp wrappers we can use these files that are there in slash etc directory with the names as hosts dot allow or hosts dot deny so first i will open this hosts dot deny file in vi editor and there in this file we will go in the insert mode and then we can specify the service and the ip address so i'm going to do it for ssh service so we will specify here sshd then we will mention here colon and then we can define the ip address from which we want to deny the access so here i will mention the ip address of our windows machine that is 192.168.1.114 so what it will do it will not allow us to do ssh from this particular ip address in our machine or if we want to do it for ftp instead of sshd we can specify here ftp so this method is called the tcp wrapper method so we can save this file now we can restart the service system ctl restart sshd so what it will do it will apply the configuration now we will go over go to our windows machine and we will try to do ssh from our windows machine so here i will specify ssh root at the rate and the ip address that is 192.168.1.116 so here you can see that it is not giving us the prompt actually it is not connecting it is not allowing us to connect and here we got a message connection reset let me try directly from here mobile external so let me create a duplicate tab so here also it is not allowing us we are not getting anything on the machine but if we will try to do it from our same machine so let me execute the ssh root at the rate localhost command so it is asking us for the password and we are able to log in in our machine so from our local machine it is allowing us but from the windows machine it is not allowing us because we have made an entry in the hosts.deny file now if we want to do it for some other ip addresses or for other networks we can also do that so again we will open the same file in vi editor and there if we want to do it for a for an entire network we will mention the network like this ssh colon uh, the ip address that is 192.168.1.0 and there we will mention the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 so this will be applied for the entire network again we can restart the service and now 
recheck it so go back to our windows machine and again execute the same command and again we are not getting anything it is not allowing us to do ssh let me try from here let me create a duplicate tab and here also it is not allowing us because we have made an entry for the entire network there and let me do it from the local machine so here i will execute as a search root at the rate local host and here it is allowing us so we cannot do it from the other ip addresses or the network which we have mentioned but what can we do let us suppose we have made an entry for the entire network for whom we want to block the access but in that network if we want to allow few ip addresses we can easily do that with the help of hosts.allow file so let me execute vim slash etc slash hosts.allow so it will open the hosts.allow file in vi editor and here we can specify the ip address whom we want to provide the access so here I will mention 192.168.1.114 this is the IP address of my windows machine let's save this and restart the service so here we can execute systemctl restart sshd and now we will check from our windows machine that this time it should allow us to do ssh yes we are getting the prompt it is asking for, for the password and we are able to log in so in this way we can easily allow or deny the access for a particular ip address or for a particular network with the help of tcp wrappers in rhl7 now i'm going to show you how can you do it on rhl8 this is the machine that is running on rhl 8.3 and on this machine tcp wrapper service is not supported so if we want to allow or deny the access from a particular ip address or from a particular network we can do it very easily with the help of sshd underscore config file so here we can we can't use slash etc slash host allow or deny files here we will do it with the help of the sshd underscore config file so we will open it in vi editor so we will execute vim slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config and there we will go at the last line and there we will use uh, the same option that we have used in our previous video where we have allowed or denied the access for the users or group so here we can specify deny users we will use the same option there deny users and there we can specify the username with ip address so if you want to do it for all the users you will mention asterisk there asterisk at the rate and the IP address so we want to do it for all the users from my local machine uh, from my windows machine so here I will specify the IP address of my windows machine so I will mention here asterisk at the rate and the IP address of my windows machine that is 192.168.1.114 after that I will save this file and I will restart the service systemctl restart sshd and the IP address of this RHL 8 machine is 192.168.1.115 so in this machine we will do try to do SSH from our windows machine it should not allow us to do SSH so here we will execute SSH root at the rate 192.168.1.115 so it is asking me for the password but it is saying permission denied and why it is showing us the result as permission denied because we have made an entry there and we have mentioned the option deny users so that is why it is not allowing us now if you want to do it for the entire network you will open the same file in vi editor and there you can mention the network details like this after that you can mention the subnet mask that is 255.255.255.0 or what can you do you can mention the asterisk there instead of zero 
So let's save this and restart the service. Now let's try to do SSH from our Windows machine. Again let me execute the same command. Let me provide the password as well and again it is not allowing us. It is again saying the result as permission denied because we have made an entry for the entire network. And let's try to open a duplicate tab here. There also we will face the same challenge. Let me provide the same password of root. And again it is showing us the result as access denied. Because we have made an entry in the SSH D underscore config file. And if we will try to do SSH from the local machine. It is asking us for the password. If we are providing the password, it is allowing us to do SSH from the local machine. So in this way, we can easily allow or deny the access from a particular IP address or for a, the entire network for SSH, for FTP and for other services in Linux. Hope you guys will find this video useful. If you like it, then do share it with your friends and colleagues. And if you are new on our channel, then please subscribe us and turn on the bell notification. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye. Jai Hind. Vande Matram.